program is brought to you in part by Just Results Weight Loss Center in Berlin, Connecticut. And yes, welcome back to round two of the Berlin Fair. And believe me, we're going to cover some interesting subjects today. As you're seeing Ben right now hauling the wagon as the Dave guides him along. And boy, let me tell you, it was just a special event to watch them work. And hang on because there's more to come. And as you could see, Dave is bringing Ben through through the paces here, and he just listens to every move that Dave does. There's a special relationship between animal and human going on here, believe me. Because he's been doing this for a while, and he just looks so comfortable out there hauling this wagon, which is not easy, I'm sure. And boy, let me tell you. These two people, these two together are really special. I really want to thank them for all the great things they do, as we thoroughly enjoy watching them. I heard that a lot of yeah. And here we have Dave depicting the end of the day, a milkman will literally walk on the side of the horse as they know when to stop and when to deliver the milk and when not to. Really amazing how smart these animals are. And of course, Ben is very special. And yes, Allison, one more year at the fair and you got Lily here today. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, so this is our second year doing the driving demonstration here at the Berlin Fair. Um, I've brought along my paint horse, Lily, as well, to just kind of get her out and about, kind of meet the people. Um, so Lily's a six-year-old registered paint horse. That means she's got paperwork proving that she's purebred all the way down. Yep, she's not a driving horse yet, but that's the plan for next year. She's going to, like, like, like uh, haul the carts in, in uh, the milk truck and stuff like that? That's the hope, yeah. So I've, uh, we haven't started yet, but hopefully by next year, yes. Wow. Now, where'd you get Lily? So funny story, um, Lily, some people had pandemic puppies. I had a pandemic horse, so I got her out of Missouri. Um, I didn't actually ride her or see her. I got one video of her and said, I'll take that's her. It, it. And I hauled her out of Missouri and she ended up being a, a diamond. She's just a gem. Part of family, right? Absolutely. Ben is jealous now. Oh, he is. They are very much brother and sister. And they fight for mom's attention. As you can see, she's trying to crawl up into my lap right now. <laughs> I can see that. So very affectionate horse. So what are you going to be doing with her here today? So we'll just do a little bit of a small riding demonstration, yeah. just uh, showing some of her maneuvers and some of the things that she can do under saddle. I have to say two things. Lily, you're beautiful. And Allison, you're beautiful too. Oh, geez. Thank you. <laughs> she thanks you too. It'll make us blush. <laughs> Got a great pair here. Let me tell you, two beautiful ladies. Thank you so much. You're not bad yourself. <laughs> Thank you. And we're, we're anxious to see you right, Lily. And yeah, yeah, you know it. You know you're good looking, don't you? Yes, she does. Okay. She does. Another ham like <laughs> Ben is the same way, right? Oh yeah, full of personality. And yes, we got Allison up on Lily. Gonna take Lily for a little trot around here. And boy, let me tell you, she knows how to handle a horse. And you, oh, Lily's looking over at us already. I don't know what we're doing. You know, I can't get over. You got a helicopters landing and taking off. You got tractors racing behind us. And these horses, it doesn't bother them in the least. Oh boy, look at this in and out. Look, that's control right there. Allison has got the knack, let me tell you. That is total control. Look 
at that. Boy, I'll tell you. Didn't take her long to train this horse. Beautiful animal. And she just does a great, great job, let me tell you. Now she, I'm going to show you how she control this horse. Just special, believe me. Back of the mouth, sideways. Look at that move, sideways. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. Yep. Yeah, Lily, you're right in, in your, you're right in the groove today, Lily. Oh, turn around, look. Beautiful. Good job. Look at look how this horse listens. No matter what she tells her to do, he, she does it. Beautiful job. Backing him up. Look at that. Yeah. It's like pressing buttons, I like to say. She sure got him trained, her trained. Yeah, Lily, you know it. You're going to be a star without a doubt. Beautiful job, look at that. Control completely. Yeah, no hands, yep. That goes to tell you the trust there are between her and that horse. Beautiful job. Beautiful, yes sir. Beautiful. it over to control uh, got a western saddle on and boy look at this look at look at look beautiful job good job yes yeah, sir Backing them up. Beautiful. Good job. Look at that. Wow. Very good, Allison. Boy, you're right in your game today. Good job. Wow, beautiful. Backing them up just like pressing a button. Beautiful job. There it is. Thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. Good luck today. Thank we'll be you. watching. Sounds great. Thank you. Very good.
And yes, now we're going to have a very special attraction here. Two miniature donkeys that were rescue animals, believe it or not. Jake and Bundle. And boy, let me tell you, they, they are just something special. As you will see, they, and, and they just listen and, and believe me, I can't get over the fact these horses are 15 years old. They're miniatures, and they could live, I, I, I think somebody said like 50 years or so. That's unbelievable. Just special. I'll tell you, you'll see it all here at the Brown Fair. And yes, the, the shot of these six-day-old chicks gives you an idea where we're going now as we're headed to the poultry exhibit. And believe me, these six-day-old chicks Created quite a stir with the kids, and look at the different colors, and I just can't get over, you know, how, how different they all look. You know, you always think when a chicken's a chicken, boy. Let me tell you, you're about to get a lesson here about how to uh, raise chickens and, and what they're all about. With uh, you know, Tom, just TJ, great, great kid, and does a wonderful job here. And the kids had a chance to hold the chicks, and boy, let me tell you, they were right at home looking at these beautiful little chicks that were six days old, and I just can't get over I mean, they're all different colors, and you know, every one of these kids was just fascinated by handling these chicks, and I could see the attraction here and how you get involved with raising these kinds of uh, poultry as we will be talking with TJ about some very special birds and I can't get over the building here just always great to come to and believe me here at the at the Berlin Fair you see it all without a doubt and the kids just love every minute of it look at these kids enjoying these little chicks. I did ask the question that when they were their, this color, like this one was like a gold color, if they grew up to be the same color, and they said yes. Some of them are dark, some of them are, are this color, and as you could see, I did find out later on that some of them lay eggs that are either brown or white or all different colors. Very interesting indeed. Trust me, hang on, you're in for a little treat today with a little history here. Boy. We got TJ here with this beautiful chicken. Tell me about this chicken. Good morning, Larry. This is a nice hen. She's about a year and a half old. She's a black Langshan, and she's a brown egg layer. Oh, wow. Nice job. So, I don't understand. I mean, brown layer is different than any other? I mean, or they all do different colors? Uh, so there's, you know, a white uh, egg comes from a light-colored chicken, and a brown egg comes from a dark-colored chicken, and then there's one breed called an Americana that actually will lay different colored eggs, green, yellow, blue, depending on the environment to try to hide the egg. Wow, that, that's certainly different. I'm getting an education Absolutely. on chickens. Now tell me, well, it seems like we're down a little bit in count here. What's the going on? Yeah, so the avian flu is a, uh, a large concern this year here at the Berlin Fair. So we brought in one exhibitor so that there's no cross-contamination possibilities between exhibitors. So all of the chickens you see here today are just from one farm. Oh, wow. So they're all brothers, sisters, cousins, relatives, and they all share one barn. Um, very similar to the, the rabbit side where we actually have no rabbits this year and that's due to the rabbit flu. Um, so that was just too high of a risk to have any rabbits here. Well, that's certainly different, I'll tell you that. Now, do you still have the farm with all your chickens? I do, I do. Actually, all the babies that you see to the left of us here are uh, all our chickens for home. Yeah. So we bring them here for the fair. They're six days old today. And uh, those are all egg layers as well. We'll pass them out, let everybody hold them, and then they go home to the farm with me. Wow. Now, is your business 
more geared toward eggs or the actual chickens? Uh, so the farm is strictly for hobby now. Um, I don't do any production anymore. I was doing meat for a while. Um, right now we're just doing eggs, and then we'll do meat again in the spring. Well, let me tell you, at the price of food lately, your business is going to get very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't keep up with demand. As soon as everybody knows we have... Uh, we have meat and eggs available. It's sold out within days. Oh, one question I was asking the, the kids, and they had a little chick in their hand that was like, like gold color. Yep. They have something. Will they end up with a gold color when they grow up? Yes. Yes. So you can start seeing the uh, the color of the feathers um, in the, about the next couple of days here. They'll start to develop. You know, a black will be a black chicken. Some of the red ones will be a Rhode Island red. Uh, a golden will be a golden. And then uh, what else do we have in there? I think we have one Americana, which is a nice speckled pattern. Now, the other question, of course, you know, I know not too up on my chickens, but when they have eggs that are different color, anything inside different color? Nope. Same old egg, just like us humans, how we, you know, we look different on the outside, but we're all the same on the inside. Okay, that's good. It's good to know. How old is this chicken in your hands right now? Uh, she's about a year and a half old, so she's right in the middle of her life, you know, of successful egg, egg laying. So, and she's going to be a breeder, so she's got about another six months, and then she'll start laying eggs for, uh, for actual show chickens. So her idea is that, you know, she's a champion. Yep. And uh, her heritage will go on. Now, do you have roosters that are special, or are they all just the same? Um, I personally don't have roosters on the farm. Um, the farm that these are from absolutely has special roosters. A yeah. couple of grand champions in her flock, um, and then a couple of regular first place chickens. So, but, so, so they actually oh, breed the chicken to be, you know, once a bloodline or certain bloodline. Right. Absolutely. Yep. Just like horses and cows and just like puppies and cats, you know, wow. if you have the paperwork, then there's a demand for it. Wow. I'm getting a good educa education here. We're going to have to spend more time with you. <laughs> Anytime you want. Come on down to the fair and check out the barn. Uh, how's the fair been so far? Really good. Really good. We had a good Thursday and Friday yesterday was really nice and successful. You know, again, the count's down for the chickens, but we still get them out here and let everybody see him and hold him and yeah. so but overall the fair has been really good yeah we uh we were here yesterday and boy let me tell you it got busy yeah yeah it's good it's nice to see everybody coming out and getting back to normal yeah well you know that's let me tell you after being cooped up through the covid situation is a good feeling let me tell you is that a chicken joke cooped up yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, it's great to get out and see everybody out and about and getting to see the animals again because a lot of people don't get to see this. Oh, it's very special. I, I hope they keep this fair going for years and they keep these animals. It's, that's very important. Yeah, we definitely want to stick with our agricultural roots here in Berlin and, you know, make sure that even if there's, you know, a flu or something we could do, if there's a way around it to make it safe for everybody and still see the animals, we're going to do it. You know, yesterday we stopped at the historical booth and I was telling them, I can remember as a young kid, a guy going up in a balloon and parachuting out. Wow, I didn't know that. That's that, pretty oh, cool. That's like in the 50s and 60s. I remember the hot air balloon rides and I'm happy to see the helicopter rides are back. That's pretty neat to see. And you know, a lot of people don't get to see those either anymore, but we're bringing stuff back, making it, you know, the good old days. That's what it's all about. You know? uh, absolutely. Get the kids out of the house and away from the TV and come out and have some fun. So the farm now is basically a hobby type thing? Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, transitioned in. I own a heating and air conditioning company, so that takes most of my time. Yeah, well, it will, you know, and it's good to... To see you carry this on, though, I'll tell you. Absolutely. I love it. I do it for my my family, for my kids, and the neighborhood. You know, everybody comes over, they want to see the animals, and it's nice. So we keep doing it. you got the whole family involved. I see mom here, huh? Oh, yeah. Yep, mom's here, my sister, all three of my kids, and my wife. So. You know what? A family plays together, sticks together. Absolutely. The way it should be. Absolutely. Well, we don't want to tie you up. I know you're a busy guy. I want to thank you 
for having a word with us. Absolutely. You know, we're going to take some shots of these different animals here, these chickens. And I have to commend you. You do an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. It's good to see you. And you're a good lion, too. All right. All right. Thanks, Larry. And yes, Tom, we have an interesting bird here. Tell me about this bird. So this is a white-crested, black, Polish chicken. Polish chicken. Polish chicken, yeah. It's from a Polish heritage. Um, it's a full size, so it's a standard. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they get the crazy hair to kind of bring in the females. The females have more of a bonnet, and yeah. they have more of a spiky hair. And uh, yeah, they're just small little game birds. They run around the farm, eating whatever they want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Try to, I'll try to get them for the camera for you. So is this kind of a thoroughbred line? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't cross these with another breed or they end up kind of looking like a crazy chicken. A little bit more than they are. So, but so he's about a year, year and a half old. So they compete in shows? Yep, this one goes around show to show, farm to farm. And, yep, I think he took a first here this year. Um, he's missing a little bit of his, you know, his top feathers from getting picked at by the other ones. Ooh, but. Wow. Last year he was a grand champion, but oh, wow. is that, yeah. I gotta say he is beautiful. He you is. got a name, this chicken? Or no? I I don't know. I'd have oh. to ask Hetty, the uh, the owner. So okay. I'm sure she has a name for him. He's got a beautiful head headdress there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> when he's all done, we're gonna get it and put it up on top of yours for you. Hey, that, that, <laughs> you know I could use some up there. Let me tell you. Absolutely. I don't know if we're gonna put it on the hat or underneath. We'll see. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Very good, beautiful bird. Yep. Absolutely. Boy, I tell you, you got it all here. We tried. A little of everything. A little of everything. Thank you, Tom. And yes, we got Brianna and Morgan here with their sheep. And tell me, you come to the fair every year? Yes. Yeah. And tell me about the sheep. What kind of sheep are they? Suffix. What kind? Suffix. Suffix, yeah. Now, do they get judged every day or just once? Just once. Did you get judged yet? No, I, we show on Sunday. How you think they're gonna do? Pretty good. Yeah. You've been raising these sheep for a long time since they were little. Some of them, yes, not all of them. So what kind of their suffix? Yeah. See, I gotta learn this stuff. I don't know it, you know. Now, where are you from? Mariana? North Granby. North Granby. Wow. So it's not too far away, huh? No, not really. Yeah. Now you got your friend here, Morgan. She got. Sheep too, huh? Yes. I'm going to have to talk to her. Morgan, tell me about your sheep. Uh, I have Tunis and... <laughs> You're too pretty to look at the sheep camera. I have Tunis and a Shropshire sheep. Yeah. And we've been showing sheep for two years now. You from the same area? Uh, I'm from North Stonington. North Stonington. Oh, wow. That's far away. That's country. That's farmland. Yeah. I yeah. You like the Berlin Fair? Yeah, I've been going here since I was a baby, so I've basically been raised going here, so it's pretty, I like it. Tell me, these sheep, they acquire a lot of attention? Um, I would say yeah, because you have to shear them twice a year, then you have to feed them every day, and like for the winter, you have to make sure when they're lambing and stuff that they have warm areas to lamb in, and they also, when you shear them, you have to take everything off, so it requires like a lot of time. Now, that's a necessity that has to be done. You have to shear them. Yeah, you do. 
if you don't shear them, they'll overheat, and then it'll just lead to, like, bigger problems. Not good. Not good. I am impressed. They're very pretty sheep. Thank you. And uh, now tell me, Brianna, you think you're going to win first place? Yeah. You compete against Morgan? Yes. Oh, you do? So that you compete with her? Yep. How long you been doing this? Mm, this is my first year as a, right now, but I did it when I started when I was a little baby. Then I took a break. Well, I'm impressed. You taught me a little bit about sheep. I didn't know they had to be sheared as a necessity, right? Yeah. Some do, some don't. It depends on the breed. Now, do you go to many fairs? Uh, it depends. I do some years, and then I don't some years. Well, I'm impressed. I have to congratulate on what you do. The sheeps are beautiful, and I hope you do well. Thank you for the interview. Morgan, I want to thank you thank for you. your interview. I hope you do well. Thank you. And your partner here, you got to compete with her, huh? Yep. Well, that's okay. You don't yep. want... It's all about having fun, isn't it? Yep. Okay, thank you. You saw it first on Racing Action today. Thank you. And as we wind down things, that when you're having fun, time flies. And we're giving you a shot of what's in store for our next episode. We're going to be covering the horse draw. And believe me, you are in for a treat. So hang on and we'll see you next week at Racing Action today. you in part by Just Results Weight Loss Center in Berlin, Connecticut.